Hey guys, how you doing? This is Sam with Southern Balance again. This is going to be behind the scenes. Today I'm going to show you how to make my license plate pendant lights. You're going to need a couple of license plates. I like to break them up by using one white and one color one because we're in Texas. Uh, if this is something you might be interested in making, I also sell the license plates. So just feel free to email me at southernbalance at hotmail.com and let me know how many license plates you want. Uh, the price does change uh, periodically depending on what I'm paying for them, but I buy them by the thousands. So um, anyway, so you're going to need a couple of license plates. You're going to need a piece of wood. I've already cut my wood. It's going to be 6 inches by 6 inches. Uh, a license plate typically measures 12 inches across, so half of that's going to be 6 inches. So just follow along and uh, feel free to make these yourself. Uh, they're very profitable. Anyway, this is how we're going to start. Okay guys, we're going to take a piece of wood. It's six inches by six inches. We're just going to mark the middle. I like to take an awl and I like to mark the middle so my drill bit does not walk. Just give it a little push right there. And that way your drill bit won't walk when you're using it. I'm going to use a three quarter inch hole saw. Put it in there and just drill that out. I like to drill it from both sides. So I'm just going to start the hole. Let me do it over here. I like to flip the board over so there won't be any tear out. Okay. We have a good clean hole. I usually like to use this filing stick, just kind of go around here cleaning it up a little bit. I use these quite a bit, both sides. Send that down. Okay guys, so it doesn't have to be the best sand job in the world because you're just going to paint this. So let's paint it now. We're going to use just regular black spray paint. Uh, it is gloss. Okay guys, since I don't have a metal bending brake, this is something that I made where I have to put it underneath my table saw to give me a flat surface underneath. I'm just going to put a couple of clamps on there to hold that on each side. Okay guys, this is how we're going to bend the license plate. So the license plate measures 12 inches across. I've already marked the middle, which is 6 inches. So because I don't have a metal bending brake, this is something that I use. I use my table saw. I've got a piece of metal that I use. This is actually a jig for some copper journals that I make. But being that I'm not using those right now, or making those right now, uh, I'm going to use it for this. So I'm just going to put these lines on the exact corners and I'm going to clamp this down. Okay, once you have it all clamped up, we're just going to give it a good bend right on the corner. Pretty hard bend, like that. Now that corner is going to be more of rounded, but if you take this little hammer like this, it's going to give it a hard bend.
Okay guys, so at this point we have our six inch by six inch piece of wood. I've drilled a one and three quarters hole in the middle. I've already branded, I've put my name on both sides. We're gonna take the license plates that we bent in half. There is exactly the middle. Like I said, it's a 12 inch plate. We measured the middle, uh, I bent it. Okay, so we're gonna take this, line this up, try to get it at the top. The idea is to get that corner as tucked in as you can. It is a little bit difficult, but just be patient. Line it up. Okay guys, we're gonna just make some pilot holes. Okay guys, well, I've drilled some pilot holes. We're gonna use these uh, half inch screws. You're gonna need 12 of them. Just take each one, start in the middle. When you're screwing these screws down with the screw screw gun, you don't want to kill it, so you just kind of finish them off with a screwdriver. Okay, guys, when you're done, you should end up with something like this. Uh, you can notice that the um, all the corners, all the edges, everything is very very tight. It's all brad nailed down. It's also screwed in. There's three screws in each one. Uh, your light kit's going to go here on the top, and the light is going to shine through on the bottom. Okay. Let's go get the light kit, we'll finish it up. All right guys, these are the light kits that I'm using. These sell for about $17 at Home Depot. Uh, they come in either black or white. I like to use the black ones for my license plate pendant lighting, and I like to use the white ones on my bottle pendant lighting. Uh, anyway, I'm currently buying these by the hundreds, so if somebody's interested in these, I could probably get you a better price than what you're gonna spend at Home Depot but they do have to be purchased in half a dozen increments. But you can email me and just let me know. I'd take the collar, it's got a little bit of a lip on it. I like to use a little bit of glue on mine. Uh, it just happens to be at my shop, the fans are always blowing and I don't want these to loosen up. Okay, so we've installed our collar on the top and we've installed our collar on the bottom. Uh, they're both glued in place. We're now going to take our light kit and we're going to screw it on top like this. Okay guys, so this is our finished product. You can see when it's hanging, one side's gonna be white, one side's gonna be with colors. So it looks really decorative when it's hanging. Uh, these can be hung as low as you want or as high as you want, it doesn't matter. I like to keep the wires straight. I give a little crimp. Normally I'll put a, a wire tie on here and then I'll cut it off. So, and it's not really holding any weight, it's just sitting right there. So let's also uh, see what it looks like all lit up. Okay guys, so that's the finished product. You can see it all lit up. 
Uh, all my corners are really tight. You see there's no light coming in off the sides or anything. These are really simple to make. Uh, if you're interested in making them yourselves, uh, just email me about how many license plates you might want if you can't find any yourself. And stay tuned, I'll show you these hanging in my shop. Don't forget to uh, like my page and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, you'll see other things that I make. I try to make uh, something out of nothing, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks guys. Okay, well I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is going to be the completed version of my pendant light kits. Let me show them to you. So I like to use a variety of colored light bulbs. They're LED light bulbs in all of my pendant lights. The cords are 15 feet long. They have an on and off switch made onto the cord. If any of you guys out there want to try to make these, I sell the license plates and the pendant light kits. Just email me at southernbalance at hotmail.com. Uh, check out my Facebook. You can find me at Southern Balance Houston. And please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.